going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we've got the Jump Shot ST V2 from HPI. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these. These things are new. These just came in to the US. So without further ado, let's take a look at what's on the box first and what this version 2 as far as what updates were done to it. All right, so looking on the outside of the box here, it is 2S LiPo compatible. It is waterproof, get closer here, two wheel drive. 2.4 gigahertz it is already painted so you don't have to do any kind of body painting or anything like that obviously it's electric and other things we got as far as this one's going to be the version 2 so they say it's going to be faster tougher and meaner so we'll have to see how that all works out i didn't own the version before i wish i did but i didn't uh they do have a downloaded app that you can scan there they have a qr code if i'm not mistaken that you can do uh it is right here so there there's a qr code uh as far as they have aluminum chassis so it does have the aluminum twin vertical plates it's pretty cool on that one also as far as they've done some upgrades or so to the tough metal gears to, for increased durability so nice on that one oil filled shocks they are adjustable as well and without further ado let's get this thing open all right so breaking that seal all right just a quick view of how it's packaged in there and i'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff out all right guys let's before we get into the vehicle itself and looking over that let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions and the actual little stuff that you get with it so you get some tools so especially if you're new to the hobby this is going to come in handy for you and you get some spare body clips as well so that's nice because they are black and they're gonna be hard to see if the, it comes off the vehicle and stickers who doesn't like stickers so you get some stickers put those on your toolbox or wherever put them on your the extra car put them on your radio all that good stuff and uh, important information, so you want to check that out as well. And this is cool too. So when new parts come out or vehicles, you're already in the know. So you can sign up for myhpiracing.com. And you're going to scan that little QR code and boom, you're good to go. You download the little application onto your phone if you choose. But uh, the instruction manual, highly recommend. You just look over all the information. There's a lot of good information in here. Talking about motor temperature as far as, you know, 158 degrees, uh, you know, setting up your gear mesh. Just loads of good information that's in here. Now, when it comes to the radio itself, it's got a nice little foam grip that's on there. Not bad, your on and off switch here. And you get some of your little adjustments when it comes to you know, your steering. So we'll get a little bit closer in on that one. So the steering, so in case the car's going to the left or the right, you can make those adjustments. And the same thing with the throttle. If by chance the car just automatically starts to kind of move forward or start going back on its own, you can make the adjustment slightly and uh, stop the car from rolling one way or the other. And you do have dual rate. What is dual rate? It's just um, simplify it right now. It's going to say dual rate. You can allow, you can limit the amount of turning that the car does. This is great when it comes to doing speed runs and stuff like that. So in case you decide to go, I want to go with a brushless system, and you know want to go faster with this vehicle, whatever, then uh, that'll allow you to. You might be moving the steering wheel a lot here, like oh man but it's only moving the wheels just a little bit here because that's critical when you're going really fast that you don't make sudden moves to the steering or the car goes out of control and yeah, then you're crashing your car. I do like it as far as the antenna that's here, it does kind of lift up and down. So just kind of keep that in mind too. If it's someone that's younger, just be cautious they don't break the antenna off or anything like that. But definitely nice and it does have little adjustments. You know, if by chance you decide to go with a different servo or you know, electronic speed controller, you can just flip these things in case the car decides to go not in the same direction as it's supposed to, which if I go pulling the trigger, the car should go forward and vice versa. So you'd want, you can make those adjustments like on channel two, that'll make the car go forward when you push down on the trigger. Now underneath here with the four double A's that that little cover slides off, you just take this out and then you can make the little adjustments in those little holes that are there if you need to, you know, read the instructions and all that stuff, what they all do. But honestly, you probably most people won't even mess with that, to be honest with you. But it's there if you need to. Now, the vehicle itself, we've all been waiting for it. Jeez, let's get into it. Now, why I chose this thing too, why I'm spinning this thing around is because it's a little bit more set up for, in my case, it's got the flat tires more or less. You know, it looks more like road worthy, right? Um, that's how I look at it. They have the monster truck and they do have the short course truck. But I like this one because it just looked to be a little bit lower profile. It looks more, in my case, it looks more aggressive. It just looks fun. Just because the yellow and everything like that, it's kind of bright. You know, it just has an extra little flavor to it. Now, it does have, you know, it's only uh, rear wheel drive. So the fronts do spin and it's all bearings and everything like that. So that's nice on that one. So let's go ahead and get this body off of here. And I want to touch on something real quick as well. I got the flashlight here. And by right out, right out of the box, 
it's set to nickel metal. So if by chance, this would be your nickel metal right here, right? It even says it nickel metal. So N-I-M-H, right? This, these packs right here, these are old school more or less. You know, there's six little batteries that are in here. It works, but it's not, as, it's not gonna give you as much runtime and it's not gonna be so linear. What I mean by that is like your runtime, like when you're going fast, you can go fast longer with the LiPo than you could with this one. Cause this one kind of just declines. It, as it, the battery gets drained, it just starts to go down, down, down. And uh, speaking of going down, 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 that's okay with these types of batteries, but with a LiPo battery, like let's say this one, you don't want it to keep going down. So that's why you need to move the jumper here to LiPo. And what it does is like somewhere right around like 3.4 volts, 3.2 volts, it shuts the car more or less off. You'll notice that it kind of either starts to go slower or it just stops. And at that point in time, you turn the vehicle off. And speaking of turning the vehicle off, there's a little switch that's in here. And I know it's very difficult to see and we'll shine that light on again. See there's on and off. So shut the car off, unplug the battery, and uh, you know go ahead and if you're not gonna use the LiPo in it for a while, put it on the storage mode, and there you go. But um, yeah, that's the way to do that. Uh, if you keep it on LiPo and you run it on nickel metal, you're gonna have problems with it too. It's just gonna kind of cut off quicker, and it's gonna act weird on you. You're gonna be wondering why, what's going on. So just kind of give you the heads up on that one. Now, when it comes to making adjustments and everything like that, first of all, this thing's pretty module. So meaning that you know this front comes off pretty easily and you got the rear that'll come off and speaking of that you can make adjustments so like this this is housing your electronic speed controller that's right underneath this piece of plastic where the on and off switch is at and then you have the receiver which is picking up the signal from your radio now and on the bottom side of it is where the battery sits and that's a lot of weight towards the back right so you can take these there's six screws there's three on this side here and then you got on the other side as well and you can move this thing forward that allow it to move a little bit of that weight towards the front, kind of trying to balance out the vehicle a little bit more. So if by chance you're jumping and it seems to be always landing like, you know, it's hard to get it to not do this because of the weight, that might help a little bit with it too. And a little bit of throttle control too. And a little bit of brake will allow you to adjust when you're coming down anyhow. Um, let me just go ahead and get into the battery box. Because some people, now I did show you a 3S LiPo, and I'm just going to let you know right now it's not compatible with 3S, but if you go with a brushless system or something like that, you kind of probably want to know like how, what's going to fit in there. So this one, this is a soft pack LiPo, and if you don't know the difference on that one is that typically, like, well, not typically, some LiPos will come in a hard case, and that's ideal um, for certain cases too where things can get punctured and that would be dangerous if the that lipo gets punctured why because you can cause a fire and uh, burn your basically burn your rc all up so this is a soft pack so it's more vulnerable to getting any kind of puncture wounds to it but you just got to be careful with them anyhow and uh, you know just read up on lipos watch videos and everything like that don't get scared but you know be aware and uh, be safe with them now it does have the t-style or dean connection that's on there as well so you know, that's pretty, you know, that we're pretty much used to that by now at this point in time. It comes on all different types of cars and everything like that. Now, as far as suspension arms, they're not bad or anything like that. As far as when it comes to the dog bones, they are steel. So that's nice as far as the driveline on it. It's not a very heavy car. And it, I like the aluminum chassis in it, or at least the aluminum plates that are in here. It kind of gives it a little bit more of a premium look because it is almost like $200 vehicle right at pretty much 200 bucks. At this point in time of recording so um but yeah if by chance you kind of knew the hobby and you're not really sure what to get what to buy oh what kind of charger you know give us a call we'll help you out you can always email us too we'll give you the links and that way you're good to go you can just purchase those things we'll give you you know we'll try to combo up a little bit of a deal for you too but um that's what we're going to work on anyway but for right now yeah this you'll need to get a charger and you need to get a, a lipo or a nickel metal hydride battery and then plus your four double A's for your battery or for your radio. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter so when we do promotions, you're already in the loop and save you some money. But until next time, appreciate it again, you guys watching. And I'll catch you on the next video. You guys take care. Later.